it's been a little bit since I got the um, my wiring and stuff done. So what I'm going to I had four here, so it, and I actually cut one up. So I'm gonna have to reproduce another one after four. Okay, so this is the reason I yeah have extra laying around. All right, so. <laughs> Alright, um, so, I forgot to mention this, when, after you are done painting them and everything, getting them painted and the paint removed, uh, what next thing you do is, you hang these up for an hour to overnight, depends on how, um, how long it's going to take for these to dry, uh, I, it took an hour and a half for these to actually to dry, so, yeah, so, uh, it, it, it's a little bit of a time process, but, yeah, that's what I told you I would be back later. So, yeah, it takes, an, literally, it takes an hour and a half to dry these, but it depends on the heat, uh, how warm the area is. Uh, if you have a shower current, a uh, shower rod, you can hang these up in the shower. If you don't have a shower rod, and, but first, you gotta ask permission if you can use the item before it starts to clean up here. Okay, I, the first time I ever done these, I actually asked permission. I mean, my used to shower or something. So, but, um, uh, now I didn't have to, so, um, so your alternative is clothes hangers. Use an old clothes hanger, hang them up, and every three minutes, go through here, go like that, to make sure they don't stick together. If they do, it can be a pot, it can be a lot harder to pull them apart. Alright, so here are my barbs. They are super long. The reason why is because I wasn't really sure yet on the size I needed to tie these on. So what I did is, this one is the 4 inch one and I cut it down to size. And when I cut it down to size, I had half, I had 2 inches left over. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take this one and uh, these your four inch ones first measure out four inches on the ruler what you do is you go up to a roller here and you measure out four inches on all right so then after that you go into the middle here pick it up barely move your finger and bend a little snip So now you have two inches <coughs> of barbs to work with. And one thing you see, make sure you have a pair of these or pliers. Because sometimes this is actually a little bit hard to actually tie them on. So you may need a little extra grip to grip on and pull. So um, I have a lot of barbs to apply to. It was originally four here, and I accidentally cut it up, so I have three lines to make. Uh, I may make another line tonight, but uh, one thing is, I can say right now, this stack of, of the three lines I've done, uh, the problem is I actually that may cover one of these, just one, and yes spacing of these uh, when you actually go to apply these you want to you leave it in inch of space from beginning and then apply your first barb and then you go in inch later another barb and so on and so forth it matters how far you actually want to space out your barbs. The inch each would be perfect. Um, I tell you last time I done this uh, project, it actually took, I say I probably had about, not that much left after I was done. I mean, it was not a lot, it was a very small ball later on. So, I 
warning you, it's time consuming. It took me four days. No. Well, it took me about, yes, about four days because I was new to doing this and everything. So I'm going to say max two, three days to four tops or depends on your schedule if you don't have nothing to do if you're free you have it takes about eight hours to tie each one on it took me eight hours to tie each piece on so make sure you have the time time expansion to actually tie these on and be sure you have enough time to get this project done before a con or an event wherever you're going for or even if it's for the walking dead season nine premiere make sure you have enough time to get all these preparations done all right hope y'all have a great week plus two wolfman cosplay club will be at the hickory nut gap farm this saturday uh, for heroes fest i'm going back again as i well i'm going this time i'm not going as lady of mafia um yeah, and you heard Hero Fest, right? Okay. I know I'm not gonna be the hero for this one. I'm going to go as a villain. Savior Harley Quinn will be up there at the Hickory Nut with um, actually with heroes. So I can't wait to plot my villain. I love it's been a little bit since I have actually it's been about a year since I've actually done Savior Harley, so it's almost time to pull her out of the closet again. So, guys, if you do come, please get pictures with us. I will post photos and everything. So, please come. Love ya!